I'm going to record like a YouTube video, but on stream. The thing we're talking about is it has been discovered. Higher DPI gives you lower input lag on mice, which means everyone using 400 DPI, even 800 DPI, you are at a disadvantage to someone using a higher DPI. Sometimes it's up to like 7 MS, which is quite interesting. Yeah, so now there's actually a reason to use a higher DPI. There's a guy, a very nice guy, called Battle Nonsense. He does a great YouTube channel. He debunks lots of things. There he is, mate, in his little scientist suit. Really interesting, really interesting stuff. He does, like, all sorts of tests with, like, netcode, latency, all good stuff. Interesting stuff for nerds like me who find this shit interesting. Now, his latest video, he was looking at the new Razer Viper, which has 8K, 8,000 uh, hertz on it. He made a system where he can reliably look at this look at this insane thing he built <laughs> where you can reliably uh test the movement of a mouse like consistently over and over and with nvidia's ldat tool which is a, a thing you put on your monitor it can measure the exact latency when you uh you can click a mouse or when it flashes on the screen he was able to see the for the first time i don't know anyone else has ever done this ever to see the reaction time of the movements of a mouse like consistently so he did the mouse movement to when it physically moves on your screen when it well he did it like a flash with the same shit, whatever so here's all the different dpis at the bottom this is the only graph you need to know obviously the full video is there if you want to if you want to look at it as well i'll link it in the description below it is full 50 minute video really interested nerdy stuff here look at the this is different pollen rates as well bear that man so this is 125 pollen rate at 125 pollen rate it's dog shit i don't if you're using 125 hertz on your mouse in 2021 why because uh, some fucking pro player back in cs 1.5 used it that's because the only mouse we fucking had back then did 125 hertz it's not mean to do it now what the fuck are you doing dude no, don't do that. 1,000 hertz. Everyone's on 1,000 hertz nowadays. Just put it on 1,000 hertz. Already, you can see from there, guys. 400 DPI from 400 DPI. 125 pollen rate, so 1,000. You're saving, like, what, 13 MS? It's already a big, massive jump there. Pollen rate by default on most modern mice are always 1,000. G Pro Wireless, 1,000. You can set it manually to 500 or 125 in G Hub if you want to, but don't. Leave on 1,000, guys. Leave on 1,000. Unless you've got this new Razer Viper shit, that might be nice to put on AK. So this is a... 8,000 pollen rate. These last three boxes here. Look at the DPI. 400 DPI, 1,600 DPI, 3,200 DPI. Look at the latency difference. At 400 DPI, look at the deviation. Look how big, wide of a range it is. It can be low as 2.56, but as high as 28.11. Huge. Then 1,600, he puts it at 1,600 to prove it, and then it lowers it massively from an average of 10 MS to 4. That's at 8,000 pollen rate. It does the same test of 1,000 as well. He goes to, to 3,200. It's a bit lower, but... After that, you don't get much. He's like, holy shit, wait a minute. So he discovers, hang on a minute, DPI is lowering the latency of the mouse. Why? So he tests it further. He then puts it on like 20,000 DPI. Changes nothing. Changes nothing. So it looks like the sweet spot, 1600, 3200, you do actually get even lower, but that's it. Yeah, if you have 8,000 hertz, 100% do it. If you're not, we're talking minuscule difference. Still a few MS difference though. But if you're like me, you want to literally save every millisecond of input like you possibly can, then you should set your mouse a higher DPI because your average goes from around 10.6 to eight. And also it lowers the highest goes from 20. So just saying there is a difference. Everyone's saying there's no difference in high DPI. There is, as it's been proven now, there is a difference. At lower, uh, what's it called? Pollen rates. It doesn't matter as much as higher pollen rates for sure, but there is a difference. But this is just to prove it even more. An engineer that works at Logitech G said there is a noticeable latency improvement at higher DPI. But once you get to a certain point, you get diminishing returns, which is correct. And we now and now it's been proven yet again by battle nonsense. So two things have proved it now. Here we go. Here we go. I found it. This guy works at Logitech G. He's an engineer at Logitech G. The cheap makes these mice. Okay. And this is an old tweet. This is ages ago. It's 2017. It was a friend which was discussing DPIs and he says dear the Fred use whatever DPI he wants but 3200 DPI is measurably faster than 400 12k even faster but diminishing returns and then the game engines can be a bit weird at that like higher DPI so he said that years ago absolutely years ago that was in 2017 it was just lost in Twitter and only now someone's literally proven it he only tested it with the Razer Viper though I'd really want to see this done with Logitech 
with Logitech Superlight or something like that, you know, just to see what it affects it. But with the Razer Viper, it's measurably different, especially 8000, it's insanely different. You're looking at like a 50% decrease in latency, essentially, uh, the, the 8000 uh, 8, pollen rate. So what DPI should you use? I would recommend using the 1600. Honestly, though, at 1000 hertz, it doesn't matter that much. We're talking minimal difference at 1000 hertz. If you want the actual, actual lowest input lag you can possibly do, then I would say uh, 1600 is the new sweet spot. On 1000, you end up talking like two to three ms difference we're I mean, pretty big on the high end up here though so this is 400 dpi on the left this is 1600 see look 1600 to 3200 i mean it's even high on the 3200 but only just not much difference at all to be honest so that makes me think at a thousand hertz that's 1600 dpi is like after that's diminishing Mr. returns Hiko, waiting point. room where have you been happy less than three um i've moved house mate yeah and i had no internet but i'm back now so hello back to the uh, this the official Hiko waiting room yep I, i'm more than happy for you guys to chill here until Hiko's online thanks guys <laughs> A uh, thousand hertz, I would say 1600. Yeah, go and buy this here. But this is just with the Razer Viper. I don't know with other mice yet. We need to wait. Hopefully, Battle Nonsense to do further tests on this with different mice because it'd be really cool to see. But my theory is that a thousand hertz after 1600 is the best you're going to get. There's no point going higher DPI than that at a thousand hertz. However, if you have these new mice that go to 8000 hertz, then yeah, you might as well go to 3200. It's still only a tiny difference though. I mean, look, you're going from what? Look at this, it's 28.11 at the highest. The average is 10, 10 milliseconds average at 400 DPI, 8,000 Hertz. But at 3,200, it drops down to 3.71 average. And look at the, look at the gap, like the, uh, the deviation. So much more, doesn't jump around anymore. Super much more accurate, much more consistent. So that's crazy. It looks like there is a limit depending on um, what's it, the pollen rate of your mouse. It looks like there is a limit. And I guess with 1,000 pollen rate, I think the limit is around 1,600. With 8,000 though, it was around three, it was double that. It was around 3,200. No, but this is, this is to do with, um, this is to do with what's it called? Um, this is to do with the movement of your mouse. The mouse clicks is a different thing altogether. DPI obviously has nothing to do with mouse clicks. So another interesting note that he discovered is that pollen rate does not affect the uh, mouse click latency it does affect obviously the latency of the movement of the mouse but the actual clicking it's always as if it's a thousand hertz it's quite interesting i found interesting now here's the problem you're thinking okay great whatever i'll just set my mouse to 3200 dpi or 1600 now the problem is is now your mouse is fucking, like just on steroids you move your mouse one millimeter on your mouse pad wrong but just fucking flies again your desktop like a bajillion miles an hour yeah it's insane obviously in game you can lower your sends and stuff you can lower your send in windows however it's recommended not to and the old school isn't here will know why that the windows settings changing your mouse sensitivity in windows is a big no-no it's a big no-no now yes you can change it in windows where are we here okay now i'm gonna tell you why this is bad anyone who's good here probably has this set in middle the six out of eleven which is the default and also this is enhanced pointer precision this is a uh, interesting one as well okay let's talk about this first enhanced pointer precision this is on by default it's recommended you turn it off this is mouse acceleration but it's not it's not just mouse acceleration it's shit mouse acceleration it's terrible you can do mouse acceleration in loads of different ways in fact i'll be having another video going up on youtube soon because i did an experiment recently where i used mouse acceleration for a few months there's a way we can use the custom driver which i'll show in a second for this high dpi trick as well but yeah turn this off next thing is this the pointer speed the way this works this pointer speed thing it like drops uh kind of drops frames from your mouse to lower the speed it's a terrible way of lowering the sensitivity of a mouse it's really bad and it's not recommended to do it ever if you have it in the middle so it's six out of eleven one two three four five six yeah that means windows doesn't change anything to do with the mouse in terms of dropping frames or doubling frames or anything like that. It's just default so you always want to keep it at default six out of eleven turn this off so this will make it that games that do not use raw input they'll be feel perfectly fine it's kind of like raw but anyway at that point uh screen uses 511 he uses raw input so it doesn't matter Remember, if you use raw input, this setting does nothing. Same as this setting, does absolutely nothing if a game uses raw input, which CSGO uses raw input, Valorant uses raw input, most things always use raw input, so it doesn't matter. All the games are simply don't. blown away. Even 1.6 had raw input. Valorant players be like uh, spending thousands of pounds on a 240 hertz low latency monitor, mechanical keyboard, a gaming mouse with a sensor designed by NASA and still <laughs> get one tap to cross the map by run and gun pistol spam. Yeah, pretty much dude. It, the moment you start changing this oh god the way it works is windows it like drops reading the mouse so it kind of skips it's, it's it's terrible for games that don't what use the difference input. between the um, mouse speed in mouse properties in control panel versus in the settings type mouse in start to find that cues raw speed it's exactly the same i mean it's exactly the same if you change it here it just changes it 
in the other place, I think. Should we test it? What's on 10 here? If I set this to 20, and if I go to control panel, mouse. Yeah, look, it's just moved it there. So no difference. Now, this only applies to games that do not use raw input. Now, you're probably going, what the fuck is raw input? How to explain this? There's two ways it can like grab data off your mouse, if that makes sense. There's the normal way, which is through Windows. So Windows looks at your mouse because are you moving your mouse? Yes, cool, whatever. That's just normal. It's, I think it's called like direct input or something. I don't know. And pretty much all the old games all use this method of uh, capturing the mouse through Windows. And so these settings would apply if you load this or hide it or turn this on and off. It would affect you in game. Now, most modern games, including Valorant, uses what's called raw inputs, or at least gives you the option to turn raw input on. What that that means is it skips windows it completely skips windows it connects directly to the mouse of a kernel drive or whatever and it can record the data straight from the mouse without so all of this is ignored it makes no difference these settings whatsoever which is funny because you get people for example i remember the tweet from ninja <laughs> wait let's see i've actually had mouse acceleration on for at least six months when i got my new pc no, no you didn't mate <laughs> Why so many tweets from a suspended account? Look at all this. Suspended, deleted, suspended, deleted, deleted, suspended, deleted. What the fuck? I'm simply anyway. blown away. Just turned point precision off. Wow, yeah. not used to that. Not ten, sure ten I like off. it. Uh, here's the thing. Yeah, you'll notice a difference in Windows instantly. Valorant, it makes no difference. Other games, though, it does. So not, uh, never, I never said only the game has to use raw input. Most FPS games use it. In case the game doesn't, especially some older games, you should turn this off. So my recommendation now, guys, go into control panel, go into mouse, turn this off. Now, Windows Sense still affects minimap, does it? So they still use, they don't use real port for the minimap, really, but not actual aim sense. That's interesting. Now, so you're thinking, okay, I want to use 1600 DPI or 3200 DPI, but I don't want my mouse to zoom faster on. There is a way you can do it without doing this, without changing this. So you still get the raw input and you can get Windows with your mouse sense and you still basically have a, a, a mouse as if it's 100 DPI. There's a custom driver. And it's not. It's called Raw Excel. This is the one I used a while back. It's what I used to, uh, it's on GitHub if you're interested. I used this while back for my uh, mouse acceleration experiments. The way it works is it basically grabs the mouse and then applies mouse acceleration settings and off you go, yeah? It's all anti-cheat friendly, blah, 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 all that good stuff. It's only the time we change a set and then it has a delay on it, and blah, blah, it's all good. There are other Excel drivers, but not all of them are anti-cheat friendly. This one is completely anti-cheat friendly. It's pretty much the go-to now for mouse acceleration for anyone that wants to use it. To install it, you need to run installer. You need to restart because it is a driver. Raw Excel, so driver's installed now. If we run it, here we are. Now, obviously, we're not going to use mouse acceleration. I don't want to use mouse acceleration. No, we could, we're not. The interesting thing here is descends multiplier. You can set it to whatever you want. You can go lower. So, for example, I'm going to use 0.5. Okay. Apply. There you go. My mouse is now half the sense. So if I use 800 DPI, I'm actually in game 400 DPI. So my mouse is running at 800 DPI or do 1600. So 1600 would be 0 0.25, I guess. Would that be 1600? Quick math, chat. Why could it not work that out? If you're using 400 DPI right now, you'd go 0 0.25. And then you don't need to change anything in, in game. You still use the same sensitivity in game. You leave your windows. The only thing you change is the DPI on your mouse. And then you get the lower input lag on your mouse. Now, if you want to apply that at boot, because you need to, if you, it, this will not apply. So if you want to apply that when your PC boots up, you need to create a shortcut to this writer file here. Create a shortcut to this and just put it in startup. Press Windows R, type in there, that shell startup takes you to your startup folder. Write a shortcut, move that in there, that'll apply on startup now, yeah? So that'll run your raw Excel at startup when you boot up. That will set your sends to be half, because I'll put 0.5. If you ever want to edit the sentence, you edit in here. So I've set to 0. You can 0. use 5, yeah? profiles in Gibbon set 400p for desktop and 3200 for Valve. You can. You can do it like that if you want, but I don't I don't even want to have G Hub installed or anything like that if you don't want to. You can just do it as a driver level. Now I'm going to set my DPI on my mouse. I'm going to go up to 1600. So even though my mouse is running at 600 DPI, because of the raw Excel driver, it's halving it. So I still get the benefits of a high DPI mouse, the lower input life, but the sensitivity is lowered. So that would mean in game, I would still set my sends as if it was 800 DPI. Does that make sense? And that's a way to do it so that all your sensitivity numbers are still the same in games. You don't need to change anything. You don't need to mess around with profiles or anything like that. I think we have, if you have a profile in G-Hub, if you old tab, it's still like super fast and stuff like that. I don't really like that. So it's just a way to do it. You don't have to worry about it. It's just, it's just as if your mouse is still running at even at 400 DPI. Sensitivity still be the same in game. You need to change anything, and your mouse is running actually like 3000. I don't need to change any Windows settings. I don't need to mess with anything like that. It's just exactly as it was. I'm just getting lower input lag. When I say lower, I'm only getting a couple of milliseconds, but there is a difference. And if you're like me, 
every millisecond. I want. I don't care if it's one millisecond. I want every single difference I can possibly get. Hey, if, you, if a mouse, a few millisecond difference on a mouse can matter quite a lot, to be honest. And it, that's it. Don't need to worry about it.